I feel today is in many ways a historic day. If there's ever a moment when we can see so clearly who's on the right side of history and who's on the wrong side of history, it's now. So people all over the Middle East are celebrating the death of the arch terrorist Hezbollah leader Nasrallah in Iraq, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Israel, in Yemen. There is joyous celebration among many. At the mosque in Idlib, Syria, the Imam is proclaiming glory and thanking Netanyahu after Nasrallah has been killed. There are signs also in Syria, also in Iran, praising Netanyahu. One sign in Syria says, you've warmed the hearts of Syria's children. Thank you, Netanyahu. Um, and yet, in the West, it's a very different story because people don't even know that uh, Hezbollah is responsible for the death of countless Syrian children during the last 10 years of war. It's not only Israelis and Lebanese and others that the Islamic regime proxies, in particular Hez Hezbollah and in particular Nasrallah, have killed. It's also Syrians. You know, when I studied at university, we learned that the Russian revolutionary leader Lenin was credited with calling people in the West who supported the Soviet regime, even as the Soviets were, were massacring and killing their own people, Lenin called them useful idiots. But today we have um, as many useful idiots as we ever had then. So people have learned nothing from history in the West. These idiots are supporting the Islamic regime in Tehran and their, their Hamas and Hezbollah and other proxy militias. And they're, they're found at supposedly award-winning, respectable media, like the New York Times with all its Pulitzer Prizes and the BBC and at the top universities in America, like Harvard and Columbia. Um, and they're found even among people who call themselves human rights groups, but don't actually care about human rights when it comes to the victims of the Islamic regime and its militia proxies like Hezbollah. And worst of all, perhaps, they're found at the United Nations, these useful idiots, where just yesterday evening, dozens and dozens of diplomats walked out as the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu condemned in clear terms the Islamic regime in Iran. But the BBC, which is in many ways as bad as Al Jazeera and others, paint Netanyahu as if he's hated across the Middle East, when in fact, people who don't want to live under regimes like the regime in Tehran view Netanyahu as probably the only major leader in the world who clearly tells the truth about the Islamic regime. And what's also disgraceful is so few media outlets in the West will even allow these voices um, explaining what the real feelings in, in Iran and the Middle East are. And in fact, Minoto TV will be on the right side of history as one of the few media outlets who has been telling the truth.